welcome to today's video. This is level A2, unit 17, lesson 2. And in this lesson, we're going to be looking at the apostrophe S to show possession, and also the word whose uh, in order to show possession or to ask questions about possession. All right, so where do you live? Do you live in an apartment, a townhouse, a condominium? a house, or something else. And then, which room is this? Looks like the living room. What furniture can you see in this room? Well, there's a sofa, some chairs, tables, lamps. And is your house old or modern? This looks like a very modern house because of the, the large windows and the modern furniture, but some people live in older houses. All right, and then which rooms are these? So take a look, pause the video if you need to. So picture A is the kitchen. Picture B is the bathroom. Picture C is the dining room. And picture D is the bedroom. Let's see if you can identify any of the furniture in each of these rooms. All right, so where can you find things, these things in a house and do you have them in your house? So a fridge, a fridge would be in the kitchen usually. Plants, plants can really be in, in any room. Normally they're in the uh, living room, maybe the dining room, possibly your bedroom. Uh, armchair, usually in the living room. Bookshelf could be in the living room or the bedroom. Washing machine could be in the laundry room or the basement in some houses. Um, lamps really can be in every room. Couch, usually the living room. Stove, uh, the kitchen. Mirrors can be in the bedroom or the bathroom usually cabinet in the kitchen, maybe in the laundry room, closet is usually in the bedroom, and a double bed is also in the bedroom. Okay, so uh, this is just a review of using there is and there are to talk about the furniture in this house. So this is an example, there's a mirror in the bathroom. So go ahead and practice there is and there are that you've already learned to describe all of the things in this house. You can pause the video while you do that and then restart when you're ready to continue. All right, we're going to read about Alba and her new apartment. So you can pause the video and read on your own or follow along as I read. I have a new apartment. I have a roommate, Marta. We both study at the university. Our apartment is in the center of town. My bedroom is small. My bed is large, so there isn't a lot of other furniture. My desk is next to the window and my wardrobe is next to the, is next to the door. The living room is large. Marta's couch is old but comfortable. The table and chairs are also Marta's. Her table is modern. Marta's bedroom is big. Her bed is small, but her wardrobe is large. She has a lot of clothes. All right, now we're going to listen to Alex and Sonia. Uh, Sonia is Alex's sister, and she uh, visits Alex at his new, his new apartment. So let's listen. Wow, I love your new apartment. Well, it's not really my apartment. It's Ali's apartment. Okay, but it's great. It's much bigger and brighter than your old place. Yes, that's true. The kitchen is wonderful. I really like the yellow walls. There is a lot of space and the stove and the fridge look new. There are lots of cabinets too. It's a shame you can't cook. Thanks a lot, sis. Come and look at the den. Oh, this is a nice room, too. Is this your couch? Yes, it's my couch. 
But the awesome flat-screen TV is Ali's. Is this his rug as well? Yes, it is. I love the colors. Ali has good taste. Can I see your room? Sure. It's this way. I like this room, too. Is this lamp from Mom and Dad's house? Yes. They changed the color scheme, so they were going to throw it away. It looks good with your blue duvet cover. Is this rug from their place, too? No, I bought that. Really? You actually went shopping? What about this chair? I haven't seen this before. No, you're right. It's Julia's. She's a girl from work. Julia? Yes, she's just moved into a new place, and she didn't have room for it. Right. Is this her desk, too? No, I got that from a second-hand shop. Really? Two shopping trips? Right, so a lot of information. Probably, hopefully you recognize some of the words that they said uh, here. All right, so we're going to listen again, and uh, we'll complete the table as they go along. Wow, I love your new apartment. Well, it's not really my apartment. It's Ali's apartment. Okay, but it's great. It's much bigger and brighter than your old place. Yes, that's true. The kitchen is wonderful. I really like the yellow walls. There is a lot of space and the stove and the fridge look new. There are lots of cabinets, too. It's a shame you can't cook. Thanks a lot, sis. Come and look at the den. Oh, this is a nice room, too. Is this your couch? Yes, it's my couch. But the awesome flat-screen TV is Ali's. Is this his rug as well? Yes, it is. I love the colors. Ali has good taste. Can I see your room? Sure. It's this way. I like this room, too. Is this lamp from Mom and Dad's house? Yes. They changed the color scheme, so they were going to throw it away. It looks good with your blue duvet cover. Is this rug from their place, too? No. I bought that. Really? You actually went shopping? What about this chair? I haven't seen this before. No, you're right. It's Julia's. She's a girl from work. Julia? Yes, she's just moved into a new place, and she didn't have room for it. Right. Is this her desk, too? No, I got that from a second-hand shop. Really? Two shopping trips? Okay, so the chair belongs to Julia, the lamp is Mom and Dad's, the TV is Ali's. I don't know if they said who the couch belonged to. Um, oh, the couch belongs to him, to the, to the man. Um, other things that they mentioned, uh, they mentioned a rug, um, stove and fridge, cabinets, um, that's about it, I think. Um, all right. Okay, so here's another way to show that something belongs to someone. So you could say, this is my chair, or it's mine. This is Sarah's bookshelf. It's hers. This is Tony's couch, it's his, and this is mom and dad's rug, it's theirs. All right, so um, possessive adjectives are um, where we use the possessive form of each subject to describe the noun. So my couch, your lamp, his bed, her chairs, its cage, 
our bikes, your bookshelf, their stove. And then we use possessive pronouns when we don't have a noun following it. If we don't mention the thing that is owned or the noun in the sentence, we use the possessive pronouns instead of the possessive adjectives. So this is mine, this is yours, that is his, they are hers, those are ours, that is yours, this is theirs, and there is no possessive pronoun form for its. All right, so whose is it? And you can use the names provided and the possessive pronouns. So whose bed is this? We'd say it's Michelle's bed or it's her bed. Uh, whose TV is this? So you and Tanya, so um, this is my and Tanya's TV, or this is our TV. Whose lamp is this? Well, this is Seville's lamp, or this is his lamp. Whose couch is this? Well, this is my couch, or it's mine. Whose chair is this? This is Nigel's chair, or this is his. And whose refrigerator is this? This is Wendy and Will's refrigerator, or this is theirs. All right, so uh, again, a few more of these. Whose, uh, I don't know if we call this a, a cupboard or a desk. I guess it's a cupboard. Whose cupboard is this? Uh, it's mine and Peter's. It's ours. Whose bookshelf is this? It's Sandra's bookshelf, or it's hers. Whose wardrobe is this? It's Jake's wardrobe, or it's his. Whose rug is this? This is Corey and Joseph's rug, or this is theirs. Whose washing machine is this? This is Maureen's washing machine, or this is hers. And whose plant is this? This is Jess and Selena's plant, or this is theirs. All right, so you can use apostrophe S to show possession. So it, it is mom and dad's chair, or it is mom and dad's. It's Ali's apartment, or it's Ali's. It's Julia's chair, or it's Julia's. Now, when a name already ends in S, uh, you can still add the apostrophe S. It changes the pronunciation a little bit. So it is James's car. It is James's. It is Chris's wardrobe. It is Chris's. But for plural nouns that end in an S, you just add an apostrophe after the S, not before. So those are the students' books. They are the students. So here we're talking about more than one student. And so all the books belong to all the students. So we put the apostrophe after the S when it's a plural. All right, now we're going to listen to Angela. Uh, it says Angela lives in Antigua, Guatemala. What do you think her apartment is like? Is it modern or old fashioned? And what furniture does she have? So let's listen. I live with my partner in a one bedroom apartment in Antigua, Guatemala. It's a very small apartment, but we love it. The building is owned by a Guatemalan lady and most of the apartments are occupied by members of her family. Her name is Hilda, and she is very kind and friendly. The best thing about our apartment is the view. We have a view of a volcano from our living room, and we never get tired of looking at it. All of the furniture is Hilda's. It's beautiful and traditional, but it's old-fashioned. It's not our style at all. 
but we don't really want to buy new furniture. Hilda left some of her plants in the apartment, and we take care of them. We also take care of her cat from time to time. The kitchen is tiny. We bought some things when we moved in, so we use our pots and pans when we cook, although all the plates and cutlery belong to Hilda. We use her washing machine, too. In the living room, there is a small black couch, two black armchairs, and a TV. In the bedroom, there is a double bed, which is very comfortable. All the bedding is new, although we bought our own pillows when we moved in. I always sleep better when I have a comfortable pillow. All right. All right, so does Angela talk about these things? The bedroom, as she mentioned, the bed, the bedding, buying a pillow. How about plants? Yes, she did talk about taking care of Hilda's plants. Cutlery, this is knives and forks would be cutlery. So she did mention that in the, in the kitchen and dishes in the kitchen. I don't know that she mentioned cushions for the couch. She mentioned pillows like for the bed, but I don't think she mentioned these. And pots and pans, she did mention, did mention those. All right, so now we'll uh, read the questions and listen again, and you can fill in uh, the answers to these questions. So what is the name of Angela's landlady? What can Angela see from the living room? And what does Angela think of the furniture in the apartment? What animal does Angela take care of? I live with my partner in a one-bedroom apartment in Antigua, Guatemala. It's a very small apartment, but we love it. The building is owned by a Guatemalan lady, and most of the apartments are occupied by members of her family. Her name is Hilda, and she is very kind and friendly. The best thing about our apartment is the view. We have a view of a volcano from our living room, and we never get tired of looking at it. All of the furniture is Hilda's. It's beautiful and traditional, but it's old-fashioned. It's not our style at all. But we don't really want to buy new furniture. Hilda left some of her plants in the apartment, and we take care of them. We also take care of her cat from time to time. The kitchen is tiny. We bought some things when we moved in, so we use our pots and pans when we cook, although all the plates and cutlery belong to Hilda. We use her washing machine, too. In the living room, there is a small black couch, two black armchairs, and a TV. In the bedroom, there is a double bed, which is very comfortable. All the bedding is new, although we bought our own pillows when we moved in. I always sleep better when I have a comfortable pillow. All right, so what is the name of Angela's landlady? It is Hilda. What can Angela see from the living room? A volcano. What does Angela think of the furniture in the apartment? Well, she said that it's beautiful, traditional, but old-fashioned. 
And what animal does Angela take care of? It is a cat. All right, so now talk about your home. You can go through the different rooms, write some sentences about the furniture in your home and who it belongs to. Is it yours or if you rent um, a house or apartment, does some of the um, furniture belong uh, to the owner of the house or to someone else that you got the furniture from? So that's the end of today's video. Uh, please like, subscribe, and share. And if you have any questions, please leave those for me in the comments. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Bye.